What's going on, world? What's going on, Facebook? This is Sosa once again with the Truth of Life Thursdays. Last one of 2016. It's been pretty fun doing this. I know I missed a few weeks, but um, <clears throat> still having a good time, still getting some good questions. So, uh, once again, just to introduce the concept, <clears throat> Truth of Life Thursdays, it's basically a time where you can just inbox questions if you have doubts, if you have concerns, if you have issues with the Bible, with Jesus Christ, with Christianity, the church, uh, just shoot me a message with a question, um, you know, and I'll try my best to, to look in the Bible and see if I can find an answer. Um, got some pretty good questions. Um, I'm going to talk about the first one first. It says, the prophecies of Daniel 9 are explicit and the timelines are pretty specific. Some of the events and timings at the end of that chapter have me confused. Can you help explain? So this is a question I saw um, somebody had uh, posted and I ended up conversing with them with, about the answer. Um, and it was actually pretty good because I had just studied and taught on Daniel 9, but actually when I was studying it, I was focusing on the first part of Daniel 9. I wasn't really looking at the, the, the latter segment of it. Um, and the first part of Daniel 9 was basically Daniel look at, looking at the scriptures and finding out that the, the captivity of Jerusalem was scheduled to end um, in 70 years, and the 70 years was coming up, and so he decided to fast and pray and to repent uh, for Israel because they were carried away captive in Babylon. And he was actually in Babylon repenting and praying to God and fasting for Israel uh, so that they can be returned to Jerusalem. Um, and so when he did that, everything in that chapter flows from that. So it's basically, it's, it shows that God was answering his prayer about Israel. And so all that, everything in that chapter is related to God's second chance for Israel and what what actually, what actually ended up happening in the rest of that chapter was the angel came to him and said your prayers have been heard you know um, just kind of summarizing and paraphrasing it your prayers have been heard uh, yes you guys will be restored you guys will get another chance um, then after a certain number of years the Messiah will be will come back uh, the, Messiah, the Messiah will come for the first time then the Messiah will be killed and then Jerusalem will be destroyed forever. So basically God was saying, yes, you guys are going to get another chance. Yes, I'm going to take you back to, to Jerusalem. But then there's a certain, only a certain amount of time left. Jesus is coming. And then when he gets killed, um, then the, the empire, the Roman Empire, or whatever they call it in the chapter, which ended up being the Roman Empire, but basically the kingdom of man will destroy, uh, destroy Jerusalem once and for all. And so that's the explanation, the basic explanation of Daniel chapter 9. And so this thing ha <clears throat> actually has already happened. Everything in Daniel 9 has already happened. The, uh, the Jews were restored to Jerusalem. They rebuilt the walls. They rebuilt the temple and everything. Uh, after a time, a certain time, amount of time, the Messiah did come. And they did kill him. He was cut off and killed. <laughs> and Jerusalem was destroyed a few years after that, 70 AD. And the Roman Empire basically ruled the world um, and pretty much have ruled the world since then, actually. If you really research it, the Roman Empire is actually still continuing in different forms. Um, so yeah, that's the basic understanding of it. Um, and Israel will not be restored as a nation not the real nation of Israel will not be restored until the actual return of the Messiah. And you can see the scriptures for that in Jeremiah chapter 30, Ezekiel chapter 37, Galatians 3, 28, 29, and Ephesians 2, 14 and 15. Those are all scriptures that talk about <coughs> Israel um, being reunited in Christ and the physical Israel being reunited when the when Christ comes back physically. So those are the scriptures that talk about that. Um, and so in order to understand Daniel chapter 9, you have to really refocus on what the scripture actually says instead of reading into it and trying to fit 
gaps and types and all types of things in there and just look at what it says and what it says is exactly what's happened and um so yeah that's it